Hi, you guys. I'm here to talk about our new bundle available just this week, Havana Nights. Havana Nights bundle. So I'm gonna do my makeup with you and then talk about what's in the bundle here. And why we're having it is because there is an artist reunion this weekend. It was supposed to be in person, but it's just virtual now. It's called Dolce. And so one of the themed nights is Havana Nights. You dress up in that theme and then show up to our online virtual get together. Um, so it's gonna be really fun and we have a bundle just for that and just for this weekend. So let me start with talking about it and then like I said, I'm gonna put on my basic hack foundation and then we'll do a nice little eye look and we'll use what's from this bundle, okay? So linen is a highlight and that's gonna make your face way brighter. So it's even brighter than some people's highlights that you're matched to, okay? So that's to help brighten our face. Dolce is my favorite cream illuminator. So that comes in this bundle too. Then you have Icon. I'm actually using cinnamon. I don't have Icon with me. And um, this is brand new this week, so I didn't have time to order it to show you. Icon's just a little bit, uh, not so dark, but really, really close to it. Here, let me show you. Papaya, papaya here is another one. So Icon's kind of right between those two. And it's really great for a bronzer. I'm going to do my eyebrows with it, which is funny because I never do my eyebrows, but I know so many of you do. So you can use Icon for that as a bronzer, like I said, and um, we're gonna line our lips with it. So there's a lot of uses for your icon. It's actually a highlight. Then we have Tropicana, which I think you guys have heard me talk about. So good, I love Tropicana. And then our eye colors. So we have Coco, Gilded, Leo, and Crush. So we're gonna do an eye look with that. This bundle is so good for right now because you can still keep your summer glow with your Tropicana and the bronzer and our illuminator, or you can move into more of a fall look. See, we have the oranges and um, those fall colors. It's really perfect for right now. Also, if you're just wondering, I had some lip and cheeks and I wanna try something new or I wanna try four eyeshadows. I wanna try a new look. It's a perfect bundle if you can't really figure out what to add on. And you'll get to see it on me today. So that'll help you maybe narrow it down if you had no idea where to start. Okay, so I'm gonna start by doing my basic hack. I'm gonna use my 30 second hack brush we can do an entire hack with our face with that brush. So I have my handy dandy triple decker. Here it's not all the way full. I'm gonna go in with Moonlit for my brightening highlight. I'm gonna do that first. Um, I like to color correct with my eyes, but with Frenchie, but there's so much going on right now that it's okay in this video. All right, and I'm gonna go down my T-zone. So I brighten under my eyes and in my T-zone. And this is my matched brightening highlight, which is Moonlit. So I'm still gonna use linen after this and show you how that can make your face even brighter, okay? Then I go in on my chin just cause my chin is red. But really your T-zone and under your eyes is where you wanna brighten unless you have more redness, then definitely go there with your brightening highlight. Okay, so that is all of my brightening highlight. I'm then gonna go in with my main highlight, but I'm gonna skip where I would contour. Usually I do that first, but I just went with it. <laughs> so this is June, right here, June. And see how one of my shades is like quite a bit brighter and lighter than my face. And then June is just a little bit darker than my face. 
Now that doesn't happen with every single color match, but for me, for me it does. And it just blends out to the perfect shade. It really looks like my real face. <laughs> my real skin, I mean, of course it looks like my face. My real skin. Okay, so I'm leaving where I would do my contour blank, okay? And then I'm gonna go in with my contour, which is ash. So I'm still using my main face, but of course I could use, I could use my cinnamon as well, which would be icon in the bundle. I just don't have it. Okay. So I'm actually going to use the icon slash cinnamon for my bronzer and I'm going to use it to line my lips. Oops, got a little something there. So if something looks a little bit out, just wipe it off with your finger. Creams are so easy to deal with. And then I'll use it for my brows. Okay, so... Contour goes in the shadows of your face. So if you were just to look outside, look at your shadows on your face or in a window, it would be darker here. And then under your cheekbones, you'd have a little shadow. And then we're gonna chisel our jawline with our contour too. So I applied all of this with this side of the 30 second hack. And then we have a fluffier side. I'm gonna blend with that side, okay? Ooh, I also can use Icon to contour my nose. We're going to do that. All right, so this is what I would call like your basic foundation, but it is three-dimensional. So you are getting your features highlighted, and then we're covering up ones we don't like, like with our brightener. That helps with my purple blue under my eyes and then chiseling your jawline really helps with like your extra fat because don't we all look skinnier when we're tanner <laughs> I mean think about it it's true at least for me <laughs> very true okay um so that's like the main step now I would call the rest of this bundle our little glow up, okay? So it's gonna glow our face up. It's a really great place to start if you have the basic four of your color match, your basic four hack, and you wanna just take it up a notch. All right, so after I've done my face, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit more, and then we're gonna do some contour on the nose and bronze and go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is the bl best blend forever brush, and I'm gonna actually use the other side, the more condensed side, and I'm gonna go in with linen, okay? So this is a really good brightener for a lot of skin tones. See how I still have a little darkness under my eyes? This is gonna brighten it way up. Let me do this side and then we can compare, okay? Now I'm also gonna contour my nose. So I'm gonna take this all the way up to where my nose contour would be. And I'll show you where that is right after this. And then you don't wanna do just like a half circle under your eye. You wanna fan it out, okay? Cause we're bringing brightness to a whole area of our face, not just half under my eye, okay? Then the other side, is so good for blending. I mean, this is called the best blend forever brush. Better be good at blending. All right, so see how much brighter this side looks than this side? Okay, and I'm using linen, which is not, Moonlight is um, my color match brightening. I could actually use both. A lot of us, actually on Venture to say, almost all of us can use multiple colors. This one's definitely brighter for me if you're a little bit tanner. It won't be quite as bright, but it's definitely brighter than my Moonlit. So it's going to make my face 
pop out even more. Okay. Okay, so now let's do our nose. And I'm gonna go in, the bundle has icon, but I'm using cinnamon. It's just a tad bit darker, but it's very, very close, very close. And I'm going to use my finger. So see how I have these two lines when I shrug up with my eyes? I'm gonna go just on the outside of them so I can make my nose look smaller, okay? And even if you don't want your nose to look smaller, it just creates some um, dimension. Okay, then I'm gonna go across, under. <laughs> okay, I'll pat in with my finger to kind of get it just to sink into my skin a little more. Usually I leave the creams on my face till I'm ready to blend. And that's perfect because you want them to sink in to your skin as much as you possible. And then I'm going to take this other side and I'm just going to blend it. And I'm going to pull up towards my eyebrow. And it's going to chisel my nose out because especially with that linen, I made the other side even brighter. Okay, so now I have just a little more dimension in my nose. It appears with the shadows just a little bit smaller. All right, next I would do bronzer. And then we'll do our lip and cheeks. So I'm gonna use the cinnamon slash icon for my bronzer. And I'm gonna use the fluffy side of 30 second hack. And I'm just dabbing it in so you can see. Dab, dab, dab. Get a layer. And then for bronzer, you wanna take it on the high points of your cheek to where the sun would hit your forehead. So your forehead's coming back here. It's forward here, just did my hair. So that's where your the sun would hit you and then of course it would hit your cheeks. So kind of like a C. All right, and then I'm gonna blend it out. So I'm just gonna do circles. And this is gonna glow my face up. Maybe put it a little too far than what I normally would, but that's okay. And this is a really good substitute for Bella. If you don't have Bella, you can use other warm highlights to um, bronze your face up. So let's do the other side. And I like that I'm stopping so you, I can compare. See that summer glow I'm still holding on to, and trust me, I will even in December. <laughs> You get that nice bronze glow look. And it looks really good with yellow. Havana Nights. Yeah, so I'm excited for a reunion this weekend. It's just for artists. And there's going to be new products, you guys. New products. Who doesn't want that? Okay, and I love that our brushes, I can just kind of wipe off on my hand. If I got a little too much. And then the uh, more you press in and blend, the more it's gonna blend. So see how that was a little, maybe a little too much for me? If I just press in, it's gonna blend even more away. Okay, now that looks good. I mean, that looks like a good bronzer. And then my chin sticks out, so my chin gets that natural sun too. Yes, that's a nice glow. That looks so good. And I haven't put lip and cheek on yet, so it's gonna look even more summery. Okay, next I would do the lip and cheek. Tropicana is in this bundle. It is top three, I would say. Maybe number two, Black Cherry is my favorite. But this was my favorite before my favorite. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks with the same brush. You can use your brush for your entire face if you just put like a swipe of a shade you already have on your eyes. I would definitely get another eyeshadow brush if you're looking for a good eyeshadow look. Okay, cause this is way too, way too thick for that. 
All right, so Tropicana, I think I kind of want even more. I'm digging it. So see how I look really summery, but I could totally pull this off with a fall look too, because it's got those oranges and browns. And I put, even though it's kind of funny because my chin is red, but I still put color on it. <laughs> kind of crazy. Okay, now I think I went a little bit down, down a little too much. So I'm just gonna try to blend that a little more. And I didn't get more June. I didn't get anything else. I'm just blending and creating like that chiseled line. That's what I'm trying to do because that'll give your face, ooh, face line. Okay, cool. All right, so next I would do our illuminator, Dolce. That is my absolute favorite cream illuminator because it's got a golden brown tint to it. So it's perfect for when you're using a bronzer and trying to look sun-kissed. It is so good. And my illuminator, I've had this since May. It's now September. And I've used it almost every time I put on makeup. It doesn't even look touched. Your illuminator, illuminator and your lip and cheeks are going to last forever. And I think your eyeshadows will last three forevers. <laughs> because you don't need hardly any. All right, so that's all from our bundle, except for our eye look. And I'm gonna take my 30 second hack brush again and put linen on my eyes, okay? So. Linen is gonna brighten my eyes up, number one. It's a very bright highlight. Number two, it's gonna give me a little base to do a full eyeshadow look. And then I'm gonna take my pinky and just press it in. I have to do this especially because I have very thin skin around my eyes, so that's why you see so much purple and so many veins. Okay, so that brightened it up. Let's put it in the corners too because I love how bright that made my eyes. So in the corners of your eyes, you definitely want to put something that will brighten it up. You could put the Dolce there. You could put a bright eyeshadow. It's going to just bring that corner out and it chisels your nose even more. So look at that look right there. Nice and sharp. Okay, let's do some eye looks. Like I said, I would definitely get an eyeshadow brush. This is the eyeshadow everything brush. It's definitely what I would recommend for your eyes. The multitasker is really good as well because you can get an eyeliner in there. But you can use this side for an eyeliner if that's what you like. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Crush first because it's my brightest and I'm gonna put it all over my eye. So an entire layer of Crush. If you have the eyeshadow everything brush, just tap it off. It picks up the eyeshadow so well Honestly, I'm still learning how to not get too much because a little bit goes a really long way and I always have to tap it off. I'm going to tap in here, tap it off. That was better. I didn't quite push down quite as hard. Okay, so I'm getting a nice bright layer and I'm going to end with this color as well. Crush. Okay, then I'm going to take Leo. And now Leo's going to go see how my eyes um, sink back. I want Leo to come just a little bit above it so that you can see it. So if I stop in my crease, I'll try to open one eye and close the other. If I stop in my crease, look, when I'm looking up at you, you're not going to see anything. Okay, so I'm going to take it a little above my crease because why put a beautiful eyeshadow on your eye if no one's going to see it when you're looking at them. <laughs> okay, so Leo, a very beautiful orange. And then I'm going to put that just almost to the crease. Well, not almost, right above the crease. Okay, so that's my crease color. Let me just get a little more. I want a little brighter. I mean, it's Havana Nights. We're bringing bright here. 
And this is such a pretty color. If you're looking for some eyeshadows, don't know what to pick because there's so many. You could just put Leo on your eye. I mean, look at that glow. Look at that summer glow with that orange. I almost said fall because, you know, it does look fall too. That's why this is perfect right now. Perfect bundle. Okay, so that is Leo. And I have it to my crease right just a little bit above. I'm not going to take it all the way up because that's going to close your eye out if you have too dark of a color at the top. That's where you want to brighten. So okay. there's still a method to the madness even on your eyes. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the other side, the more angled side of my eyeshadow everything brush and I'm going to pick up Coco. All right. Now Coco, I'm going to put in the corner, this corner of my eye here. Okay, about half. So it's going to make it dark. And then here's a little trick to make your eye look lifted. We're going to sweep it under and up to meet. So you want to come into a triangle here. I need to use my mirror. But I'm going to sweep it under my eye and have it meet the other part of the cocoa to make like a little triangle. Okay, look at the lift or the up, the way this is making my eye come up here versus this. All right, and then see how I went halfway and there's a really harsh line? We're gonna blend it, okay? So let me just do the other side and we'll blend all together. I love this brush. If you think of one side as applying and the other side is blending, um, it is just so easy to use. Oh, mirror. Why do I always do my left side like way better than my right? For any of you like that? <laughs> I just got a little too much on the right. The left is perfect though. I mean, look at that. Okay. <laughs> So, if that happens, especially with linen, super easy. I just went up a little too high. Just cover it right up. There, 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 there. Okay, they look about the same. So, I'm going to go to my other side and blend. So, apply, blend. Very good way to look at this brush. Okay, no more harsh line. It's a fade, that's what you want. So if you don't have a fluffy eyeshadow brush like this, and you're trying to pull off these really fun eye looks, you need one to help you blend, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with Gilded, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid, okay? all over my lid to give me this kind of purple blending in with the orange. Wow, those look so good together. Okay, and you don't wanna pull the dark too far up in your crease. You know what, I might just have to accentuate at the, at the end there. <laughs> okay. So all over my lid, this purple, just to give this purple glow. Okay. All right, so look at my eyes when I move back. They look so fancy. And they look like Havana Night Summer, but they also look more kind of fall. And now that I'm seeing this, I want these just a little more orange. So that's a good trick too. Just step away and kind of see what you look like. Not up front in your mirror. 
Because that's not what people are seeing. I mean, I hope. <laughs> Some people might be seeing that. <laughs> All the way up in your face. Okay. All right, now we're going to end with crush. And I'm going to put this right in the middle of my eye. So I'll show you what it does. I'll just do it on one. And then I'm also going to put it under my brow bone. I just apply it with my pinky. Now it's just such a pretty shimmer. And with my pinky, I can kind of press until it blends in itself. I just want a little more shimmer than that, though. All right, so see the difference there between the two? It opens it up. It creates a shimmer. It's just a really pretty look. So we use the cocoa to help us with liner really under our eyes and to kind of define the lid. Gilded to get that purple, that purple look. Leo to get the orange. And then for crush, I'm also going to put it on the top right here. And I want to really brighten my eyes at the end. So I'm going to use the dense part of this brush. And look, that just brightens it up. You can even put it on the inner corner, even though I put lint in there. That's the perfect last step to brighten an eye up. Okay, and this is all in the bundle. And I have a yellow and orange dress on, so it's looking so good with this. Okay. See how that just brightens it up. All right, there's my eye look. Now, if you want something, I'm going to try to go in with linen here and make this a sharper look. It's my multitasker brush. And another thing that I would use Icon for is an eyeliner because I like eyeliner. So I'm just sharpening up my eye look and then I'll show you with this other side of the multitasker. You can pop this on and get like a really defined eyeliner. Let me have to look up. Okay. So it's a brown eyeliner. Yes, I like that. And I also defined a little more in a nice swoopy triangle by putting linen just where my eyeshadow fell a little below that line. Okay, so you can fix anything that you do to your face that you feel like needs a little, little fix in. All right, let's do Tropicana on the lips. I'm going to line with my icon. Again, I'm using cinnamon. It's just a little darker than icon would be. Okay. So I line my lips, and of course, I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to push it in. Key to the makeup is no harsh lines. And let's do the top. Now you can overdraw your lip if you want to get a fuller lip. I like just my, especially with Tropicana. It looks so good on my lips just as it is. So I'm not going to worry about overdrawing. Okay. And then Tropicana, you can just apply with your fingers. I have my multitasker brush right here, so I'll just go ahead and put it on with that. And I have a perfect outline of where I'm going to take my shade to. Okay, this is the look that's going to Pull it all together for real. The step. 
Tropicana. See how that just pulled it all together? It really did. It looks so good. Oh gosh. I really like it. So the last thing I would say, if you are an eyebrow doer, you can use cocoa. It's pretty brown or icon to fill in your brows. Okay. So we have a hotline brush that has a spoolie and you can brush your brows up. Or you can use the other side of the multitasker, just like I line my eyes and just fill your eyebrows in with this color. Now, I don't ever do this, you guys, ever. So I don't even know what I'm doing. And it's still working. Okay, so I, if you are like me and you don't really know what sure, I just, what to do. I just put it on my eyes eyebrows and I'm going to use my finger to just kind of press it in so I'm just accentuating my eyebrows my husband's probably going to be like what happened to your eyes <laughs> okay but honestly I kind of like it kind of do it just looks a little like a little oomph because like my eyelashes my eyebrows are very light you can barely see them which is why I usually don't color them all right, so I just put the color there and I'm just going to take my pinky and rub till I have no harsh lines. That's the key. Hey, not bad for like, I'm not kidding you. I don't ever do this <laughs> for never doing this. Okay, so that is the Havana Nights Glow Up. I mean, look, glow up for sure. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with some setting spray because I want my makeup to last the whole day. I have a long day ahead of me. So this is the SPS, SPF 15 I really like because I'm in sunny place. The sun's out right now and I just want a little coverage there. Okay. All right, and then I just take my sponge and push into my face. If you have a sponge, I got a little close to it that time, but that's fine. It smells like sunscreen. I don't know how the non-SPF one smells. Maybe it doesn't smell like sunscreen, but I actually love it. Coconutty. Okay, so there's the Havana Nights Bundle. Gives you such a perfect glow up. So we had again, Linen Dolce Icon. Tropicana, Coco, Crush, Leo, Gilded. So get it now while you can. It's only for this weekend that this link will give you this bundle, okay? Good to see you guys. I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye.